Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am going to introduce a mated queen that I purchased to the hopelessly queenless hive. I've given them two opportunities with uh, with larvae to create their own uh, queen cell and they haven't been able to do it so I bit the bullet, found a local beekeeper, well I say local, it was an hour and a half away, picked up a queen last night and I'm going to see how the girls take to uh, an introduction right now. So I'm going to set up and we'll, uh, we'll introduce her. So hey guys, uh, in the interest of time I've already took, taken down the, uh, the hive and the queen arrives in this. When you put it in you want to be mesh up and this is the fondant side. The fondant side needs to be angled down and just put it, it needs to be near where the brood is. And you just gently push it into the wax and then push the other frame up against it. And over a period of time, they will chew through the fondant and release her. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put her on top of the frames and see how they react to I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they re react extremely positively because they are hopelessly queenless. But let's, uh, let's see how they do. No, no, no. So let's see how they do. There's obviously an immediate interest. And if they, that one or two things will happen. They will either uh, ball her, the term ball her, which means try and completely surround her and uh, kill her by literally cooking her, or they will try and feed her. And also, if they're pleased about the situation, other bees will start fanning and, and spreading her pheromone. So we'll give them a We'll give them a couple of minutes and uh, see how they do. Like I say, they are hopelessly queenless. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure they will uh, take to her immediately. But uh, who knows with bees, you know. And there doesn't seem to be much interest quite yet. I'm heavily feeding them on the other side of the property and of course they're extremely busy with that and there are uh, attendants a couple of attendants in there with her um, but uh, not much interest so far another thing I was told was if she goes to the bottom of the cage She's trying to get away from them. If she comes up to the top of the cage, then she's looking for acceptance. They also, sometimes they will be uh, docile initially and sub very submissive towards the, uh, the bees. Right now, it just looks like she's wanting to get out and she's certainly coming up to the top of the cage but there's no much interest in her I'm very surprised in the research that I've done as soon as they smell this pheromone they are really really curious as to what what is that so this is interesting it's the first time I've done it as you all know I'm the first time beekeeper 
uh, second season. This is the first time I've introduced a queen. Um, so far it's uh, pretty boring. <laughs> Uneventful, as they say. Just want to thank uh, the subscribers while I've got a minute. We've got some, some new subscribers that are beekeepers giving me some great information. Oh, and I want to give Jackie a shout out. One of our subscribers, Jackie, is a Game of Thrones uh, fan. And Sean Bean, one of the actors, was actually born in the same place as I was in um, England. And she made a request that I speak a line from the uh, the series Game of Thrones that was very famously said by Sean Bean. Whether I can pull off a Sean Bean accent or not, I don't know, but I'll give it a try. Winter is coming. Just for you, that Jackie. Thank you for your subscription and your advice. Okay, they are doing nothing. Just two or three coming up to take a look. I don't know whether this is a good sign or a bad sign. They're certainly not attacking. So what what they say is if they're if they're Arses are up, they're happy. If their arses are down, they're trying to sting her. And I can't tell right now because I've got terrible eyesight. Not much interest. On the research that I've done, um, there's a, like an immediate interest. Well, there's a few more coming now. What I want to see is fanning. So they spread that pheromone. Another thing is when they, when there's a, a, a certain amount of bees on the cage, you, you're supposed to be able to run your fingers through the bees and they'll move because their stingers aren't down and trying to get through that mesh. If you, if you gently push the bees away and they don't go away, it means that their arses are down and they're trying to sting. I see fanning, right? Here, see this little bee here? She started to fan. To say they uh, have been queenless for some time now, they don't seem super interested in her. Interesting. Learning every day, guys. Learning every day. But I did tell these ladies that I wouldn't abandon them. I would do everything in my power to uh, get them strong and ready for winter. And purchasing the purchasing the queen is just part of that. You, you, we, we've got to be good stewards to them, or you might as well not be a beekeeper. You've got to treat them like small animals, they're not just a, a commodity, they're not just something to make you feel good or these are living beings, you know. I'd hate to think that uh, they died and as a, a direct uh, reaction of mine, you know. So 
a little bit more interest in her now. And she doesn't seem to be avoiding them. I'm just intrigued with the lack of interest. We'll give them a give them a minute or two more, and then I'll uh, I'll put her into the into the frame. And it's important that you put her in the frame where the brood is, so that the the cluster keeps her warm at night. So I've got brood both sides of this. So I'm going to put I've got brood both sides of this. So I'm going to put her on this side, in between these two frames. Now because these cages are slightly wider than the plastic ones, I'm going to have to leave a frame out. So what I'll do, once I've got her in and I'm happy she's okay and secure, I'll shake the bees off this, off this end frame and just store that for a couple of days. Um, so that that's nice and secure, because with it being that wide, you can't get that last frame in. There's a little more interest now. Oh yeah, they're definitely uh, interested now. Now I, I don't know whether it's my ears or not, but there's a term called piping. And the queen will, will make a noise and they refer to it as piping. I don't know whether it's her that's piping or there's just the vibrations of the bees. But there is definitely interest in her now. Everybody must have been on a uh, a break, 15 minute break, because they're very interested now. So, as they say, if you can run your finger across the bees gently and they move, they're not trying to sting her. And as you saw then, they moved. So I think, uh, I think they're going to accept her. She's actually, uh, the, the beekeeper I got her from, he's, he's crossing Col Corione Italian and the Buckfast. Um, bees and he says that they're a really really gentle uh, strain of bees so I mean the bees that I have um, they're, not, they're not aggressive by any means they're quite gentle I believe but he says that these are slightly more gentle we'll see I think they're uh, their faces are in not their asses so they're trying to feed her so I think we're safe to uh, to put her in so like I said this frame this frame is the brood so I'm going to put her on this side and this is the fondant side so that's slightly down and mesh the mesh pointing upwards so let's uh, let's get her in there ladies and let me make a little bit of room let's get her in there and make sure she's below the frame and pointing slightly down you can see that and then we want that frame all the way pushed up against her I don't want to, I'm just keeping a hold, I do not want her to fall and potentially damage her I think we are good so double check that it's pointing slightly down it's in with the brood and I'm pleased and, and I'm happy and believe that yes they have accepted her and we'll leave her about four days I should it it's like a maximum of four days to 
chew through the fondant and we'll come back and make sure that uh, they are still pleased and I'm hoping that they are, will be like I say they're gonna go from hopelessly queenless to OMG we've got a queen So that's all I've got for you today guys. This was an installation of a mated queen. They seem to have taken to her quite well. They're quite happy, there's no aggression. They're not trying to ball around her and kill her. So I'm gonna shut all this back up and I will see you on the next video which was going to be treating for Varroa mites uh, organically. I found a uh, an organic non-chemical way of treating for Varroa and it's a two-man job so Julie will be with me on that one we'll probably shoot that video tomorrow in the meantime guys thank you for subscribing thank you for all the comments as always it means a lot to me all the education I'm getting from you guys is awesome uh, hit the notification button so you know that we uh, when we put another video best way you can uh, help us on our journey of off-grid and beekeeping is to subscribe and uh, learn from my mistakes our, our mistakes and potentially give us advice on how to uh, go forward after them well guys that's all i've got for you today i will see you on the next video